My name is Corey Matthews. I'm a 3D artist and animator. I'm currently working in the charitable gaming industry, which I never really thought I would be here. So when you say um, like the char charitable um, game industry, can you just explain that for the, the listeners? Yeah, uh, okay, so I work in like, um, basically I make like slot machine games, but uh, a lot of the uh, money that goes into those, it has a huge like 80% return into charities for like wounded warriors and things like that because all of our games are in like VFWs and bingo halls all over the uh, country. Awesome. And so they generate so much play and we want to give back to those people that are playing it. And, you know, they kind of fall into those categories. Are you doing the, like the 3d assets and everything for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do like 3d modeling, concepting, game design, uh, animating effects, um, layout, anything really. Uh, I go everything from the a piece of paper and whiteboard to the final product play testing and on the machine itself. You know, growing up in Alaska, it was like the 90s and early 2000s. Like there wasn't like game studios or anything like that. We didn't even, I, I didn't even touch digital art until I got to college when I was 25. So it, I've always wanted to get into the game industry, but everybody's always told me that it's a hobby and that I should do something different. Yes. And then eventually I had some hiccups and then I kind of was just standing there going, well, I've always liked art, so maybe I'll give that a try. And I don't regret it though. I, you know, things kind of lead you in a direction um, and you pick up on some of the signs. So, you know, I was going, I actually moved to Florida to do firefighting. And when I got there, oh, shit, all right. the, the program lost all of its funding and they closed. Shit. And I had just moved. I quit my job. I worked in a warehouse for eight years in Alaska and I just moved everything to Florida, um, you know, complete opposite side of the country. And then the thing I was going to do was no longer available. And I was just kind of like, oh, man. Yes. So um, <laughs> I found an art school and I was like, you know, I'll just give this a try, you know, and I really applied myself and I really like started to make connections there and it felt kind of like overwhelming at first, but I was like, well, this is what I need to work. And so I'm going to make it work for me. 